Oke, okay, Mbak.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Your Excellency, Mr. Khairul Fuad, as the Chairman of Animal Suit Islamic Early School. Your Excellency, Mr. Yunus Hirafa Zizawiyana, as the Head of the SIP Program. Honorable Mr. Sharif Hidayatuma, from the Faculty of Philosophy UGM. Honorable Mr. Kiyah Zimu Bas Abdullah, as the Committee of Animal Suit Islamic Early School. Honorable Mr. Sophia Tungipa, as the Head of the Language Program. Respectable all participants and coordinators of the SIT program. Unforgettable, all my friends in my world. Ladies and gentlemen, salawat and salam will always be given unto our prophet, peace be upon him, who has guided us from the Jadina era to this wonderful and bright era. Hopefully, by his guidance, we will be able to enter God's paradise. We are the master of ceremony. I am Rihanna Alwirahana. I am Vita Mahira Indonesia. Who will guide you as you go through these events? We, as the master of ceremony, will read out the schedule of this afternoon's program. First is opening. <coughs> Second is remarks from the coordinator of the Ali Post program. And now, let's come to the first agenda, which is opening. Let's open the event this afternoon by reciting our Fatiha together. Rahimun Fatiha from the coordinator of the SIT program. Mr. Yuri Sira Kazuki Nobunyono, the stage is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat siang, sorry semuanya. Selamat siang, selamat siang. Like to apologize that how we how they welcome us is very simple. 
simple and very minimal, and they apologize that if it causes any inconvenience, uh, they are very grateful for uh, your visit and hope that you can find something meaningful by visiting us here. Uh, and please let us share our knowledge and understanding so that our students also take away some meaningful experiences uh, with your visit. Uh, hoping for communication, knowledge sharing, and generally just uh, the possibility to speak to you all. And finally, we apologize uh, as deeply as possible for any and all of the mistakes that might be. Thank you for the remarks. And next is presentation from Shakao. Hanawa, the stage is yours. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, before I begin, I would like to uh, have two students of mine uh, introduce what is in our snack packets so you guys are more familiar with what in it. So.
Okay, uh, so our school is like any other school uh, in the world. We, we uh, teach our students the same things that you do uh, study, I think. So we've got the usual subjects like math, English, uh, physics, chemistry, e PE, uh, etc. Uh, we supplement that with field trips. I think you have field trips as well, right? Uh, two types. There are two types of field trips. One is educational, where we visit factories and museums. And two is field, uh, for, for refreshment where we go to outdoor areas. We, we also have a student body here called OSIS, short for Organisasi Siswa Santri Ita Sekolah, right? Uh, and as well as extracurricular activities. So you also have extracurricular activities, but I think we have some here that you don't have in America. I think you'd have swimming, you'd have maybe volleyball, basketball, marching band, but I don't think you'd have this one. This one is called Hadro. This is the instrument that these kids are playing. So the, this group, we call it Mulaini, they are a Hadro group. They are playing traditional instruments made from wood and cow skin. And they basically make sound from it. And if you are interested in knowing more about Hadro, I'm sure they will be happy to tell you all about it or even teach you how to play. Next. As Muslims, we are obligated to f pray five times a day. We have Subuh, Duhur, Asad, Maghrib, and Isha. Uh, and students here are obligated to pray together in a jama'ah when, where there is an imam, a leader, to lead the prayer. We believe that it will uh, give us more merit than praying alone. That's why we encourage it to our students to pray together five times a day, and we actually make it an obligation. Next. Okay, we have three main programs here. First one is the Holy Quran, which is our holy book for Muslims, as well as uh, Dinia, and the language program. Next, Anika. Okay, first one is the Holy Quran program, where we uh, teach or encourage our students to memorize the Holy Quran. Because we believe in memorizing the Holy Quran, we will get uh, merit to enter heaven, better merit to enter heaven. So there are actually a few steps in doing this. Uh, first one is we have to make sure that everyone has the correct pronunciation. Because in Arabic, if you mispronounce one word, it could mean differently. So we have to make sure that the words that the students are reading, are reciting, are the one that is intended to be read that way. That's the first step. After they master the pronunciation, we move to uh, memorizing chapter 30 of the Quran. And after that, we move to memorizing important uh, surahs of the Quran. And finally, uh, starting from chapter 1. And those students who want to learn more, so not just the four steps, they want to be more advanced, there is another program made specially for them, which is called the Tafik program, in which students uh, are given higher targets, so they have to memorize more, and the, their daily activity are catered to that, I mean, to memorizing the Holy Quran itself. So this is the first program. Next, please. The second program we call the Didia program. Alhamdulillah, can you help me with uh, Distributing the examples. So we study what we call Kitab Kuning. This is, uh, tr if translated to Bahasa, uh, to English, it would roughly mean yellow book, different from yellow pages, actually. This is not a uh, telephone book, right? Uh, wait, uh, some Yerira Nanika is going to distribute you. So you can see firsthand what the book is like. It's called Kitab Kuning because the Pages are yellow. That's why it's called the yellow book, Kitab Kuning. In which we study the basis of Islam. What we can do, what we cannot do, what we should do, what we shouldn't do. What should we do if this happens? What should we do when it happens? Even in this particular Kitab, we study, uh, for example, what is dirty how to properly, what are the steps to prayers, what do you read in a prayer. 
So yeah, just basic steps and what uh, what would be the basis of Islam. It is written in Arabic, as you can see, right? And by Indonesian Islam scholars. And then our students here are taught to translate and decipher it. I think there's one book that has already the translation amongst those. That is what we call Akuni. That is what we study here on the Dinia program. This program is the language program. Of course, we uh, have uh, we teach foreign languages to our students as well. Two languages actually. First one is English. Sorry. First one is English, and the second one is Arabic. So uh, we believe that by studying or uh, learning English or teaching English to our students. You know, it's very applicable for the future. We see journals, we see a lot of books are written in English. It's like the gateway to information, basically. As well as Arabic, because the language of the Quran itself is in Arabic. That's why we teach it to our students. And here, the majority of our students here that you see behind you or uh, beside you are actually language students. So they specifically learn English uh, in their program. So they, you can ask them anything later, it's fine. They are, they, uh, you can ask them anything, they will answer it. Don't worry about it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, help special events here in support of the main curriculum, the subjects that we have before. One is monthly, one is year. The next Anika. First one is we call Sima An Al Quran. I don't know how to translate this to English, to be honest, but this is a, an event where those who have memorized the uh, the Quran, all thirty chapters, will recite the Holy Quran to those who have it or those who have uh, for for basically remembering their 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 what they memorized as well as for the students that haven't learned up until that point to learn how to read that chapter as well as getting married from it for the afterlife we believe that reading and memorizing the Quran will give us good deeds and merit for the afterlife that's what this is for next we also have the pilgrimage this is not the best English word to describe this we call this in Indonesia ziarah ziarah this is not the best English word but this is the best I can work with. So this is where we visit our teacher, teachers and predecessors' graves. We uh, basically pay them respects and wish them well, as well as thanking them for the knowledge they have given us. Uh, yeah, so we do that by visiting the graves of our teachers and predecessors. Uh, because here in Kuala Lumpur, we take knowledge very seriously. I will elaborate more on that. But yeah, we take knowledge very seriously. Next. Next, we have what we call Salawatan. Salawatan. It's basically uh, a more advanced version of this. This, you only hear it for like 15 minutes. But this, it will be two good three hours. Where we're, we're praising our Prophet Muhammad. In this session, we uh, emphasizing how we miss him and we thank him for all his uh, he's he done for us, uh, his people. Okay, last but not least, we also have one thing that we call Hot Meal Quran. So, remember when I said that knowledge is very important for us? So, it is that important that we have this thing that we call sanat ka'ilmuat. It's basically a line of knowledge. So, for example, uh, I am teaching Alenka. I am Alenka's teacher. So, uh, and then I have another teacher above me. So, in, in Apana Pusantren, it is very, oh my god, that's unfortunate. It's very <laughs> important for us to know uh, where is the origin of the knowledge that we're getting? So it's very important for us to know who is the teacher of who and who is the teacher of who. That's what we call by the line of knowledge. So this line of knowledge, uh, we do it so we know that the knowledge is legit. 
And that's why we have the pilgrimage before us to honor, oh, thank you for giving us the knowledge. That's why we visit their graves. So in this event, it's basically a graduation ceremony for those who have memorized the Quran. So they will be given a certificate uh, stating how much they've memorized as well as who their teacher is so that they can, uh, the teacher can vouch for the knowledge given to the student. Oh yes, I'm the one who's giving the knowledge to this person. You can, you can trust this because my teacher is A and my teacher's teacher is A. That's why we have this to honor those who uh, honor and celebrate those who have uh, memorized the Quran. Okay, that's all I have for my presentation today. If you have any further questions you might want to ask regarding these topics or other topics, you can ask the students or you can ask me afterwards. We would have the Q&A session as well as sometimes showing it around. Don't worry, you can ask me anything. You can ask them anything. Uh, oops, okay. Um, yeah, I think that's all for me. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamu alaikum. And next, storytelling from your my name is Muhammad Zikir Ramadan. I'm from 12th grade science class, and this is my friend. My name is Yutan Motaki. I'm from 12th grade. Yes, and those are my friends too. Can you please say hi to them? The red jacket? Yeah. Okay, my intention to stand here is I want to describe you all about our activities in here as a santri of Pondok Pesantren Ali Maksum Kerajaan Yogyakarta. So um, basically our first activity that we do is we wake up at 4 a.m. by the supervisor to go straight all straight to the hall to perform subuh prayer. And then after we perform subuh prayer, we recite the Al-Quran, the Holy Book for Muslims. And then after we recite the Al-Quran, and then we uh, prepare to go to school, such as like take a shower or have a breakfast. And then after that, after half past seven, the supervisor will come around to tell us to immediately carry out to perform uh, the prayer. Duma prayer is not as a mandatory five times a day prayer like they usually pray for Muslim, but as a prayer uh, to make us closer to the God. And then after we perform Duma prayer, uh, actually we perform we perform Duma prayer at quarter past seven. And then after we perform it, we do some kind of like uh, morning assembly before going to school and then before we entering the class we pray first and then after entering the class before we learn our first lesson in school we uh, read uh, the Asmaus not typical of Karabian style by Kaitaji Ali Maksu uh, basically Asmaus is uh, some, the 99 name of Allah our God. And then, uh, yeah. And then after the, all the school activities is over at 1 p.m., uh, we have a uh, nice little bit, and then we have a lunch. And then after that, after we have lunch, we do some kind of activities, but uh, uh, for example, like uh, scientific papers for uh, 12th grade, and then Kimia class and or P5 class and P5 class is stand for profil penguatan belajar pendidikan Pancasila pro, program project penguatan profil belajar Pancasila yes <laughs> I'm sorry okay. and then all those activities is uh, finish at 3, uh, 3, 3 p.m. And then uh, we finally uh, have, a, have the race, have the race because, you know, yeah. I think that's all for me. That's all that I can tell you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So I will continue our activities at 3 p.m. after uh, we pray Asa. Uh, there are a lot of things.
trampoline to our that we have, like uh, for example, basketball, or our music ensemble, football, and etc. After completing the trampoline to our activities, we take a shower and get ready to immediately play on it. So after that, we have a dinner class, for example, like a yellow room that we call the trampoline. And then, uh, after that, uh, we, after uh, we finish the uh, after we finish the dinner class, uh, we immediately pray for each other, and then after that we have a dinner, and we continue our activities at 8 p.m. start from Mushawarah, uh, and then continue the dinner class until 10 p.m. It is for the boys, well for the girls. Then carry on uh, and uh, later class first, and then. Continue with the shower. The shower is uh, you learning with your friend or you discuss about something that you learn in school. So uh, uh, in the Friday night, Friday night, have a slight different from usual activities such as after monthly prayer, we will read Jasin and Tandil and then continue with uh, Salawat. Jasin Tandil and Salawat is uh, Capture from Quran together and give salutation to the Prophet. And uh, I will give you the information, the, some, the, some information about the dormitory building. Uh, there are, uh, we have, uh, and the, the dormitory building are different for boys and girls. And we have some dormitories, and the first is Ibonagoro dormitories. And so, this Ibonagoro dormitories, the Ibonagoro dormitories is for junior high school for boys and the second we have uh, Hashiman Dominori or we call Asbori it is for junior high school and senior high school for girls and the third uh, Pangung Dominori Pangung Dominori is for uh, senior high school for boys and me and Sikri from uh, Pangung Dominori and the last one uh, have, uh, and the last one is Dabbi Dominori it is a special dormitory for the girl because uh, it is special dormitory for learning language uh, such as English and Arabic. And you will visit the dormitory after this. So maybe uh, on the day that we will be coming. So, I think enough for me. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, so if you have any questions for our students, uh, right now you can ask, as well as our students, uh, boys and girls, if you have any question, feel free to ask them. Who wants to start? Hi, my name is Olivia. Um, and I was curious, because if you wake up at 4 and go to sleep at, or your school ends at 10, you get 6 hours of sleep every night. That's it? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs>
My name is Juliet, and I don't go to university. I go to a community college called Americosa in California. Hello, I'm Erin. Sayakuria de Carleton College, de Minnesota. Um, hello. Now I'm Sayakuria de Sayakuria de Universita Skidmore de New York. Namaste, Lilia. Namaste, Lilia. The Yeah. 
hold up a handful to you, then you shall be extraordinarily proud of yourselves. And I think you are be much better prepared for college than the vast majority of the Western world. Um, also to add to that, um, I also went to boarding school for high school, um, but also, like uh, Olivia and Larkin said, everyone here is very prepared for being sometimes, he was very young, like maybe 12 or 11. Um, so <laughs> you're 11? Yeah, like, wow, okay, so. Um, <laughs> Uh, just uh, FYI, there are actually uh, boarding schools across Indonesia that houses younger younger kids, babies, from ages like seven or six. There are places like that. So yeah, it may be a bit different from how it is in America. And they have pretty strict schedule like here as well. Thank you. And Hello everyone, my name is Afizene Sokoro. You can call me Sena or Yusuf. And I will ask you, uh, what's, your first what's your first impression when you saw uh, the, this culture in here? And uh, like Hadro and... Um, okay. <laughs> yes, maybe that's the question for me. Uh, for me. Berikan aplaus untuk Thank you, Pak. 